Okay guys, this is what I meant by I think I found a unit that's probably gonna make me leave BGC. Today I'm on my way to go see a one bedroom unit somewhere outside of BGC in an area called Mandaluyon, just on the border of Ortigas. And I can't wait to go check the place out. Is this gonna be the unit that makes me leave BGC? Let's find out. Hello Paul. Mergim, yeah, that's right. How do you do? All right. Yeah. It's a 10 minute ride from where we are here in Uptown BGC. How much is that? 62. Okay. That's okay, Ch keep change, thank you. Okay, well, I think the unit is located in this place, right here, these two twin towers. They look super modern, really nice. It's called the Twin Oaks Place Greenfield District. It's located along this boulevard called Shaw Boulevard, and you can see Ortigas just over there. I think maybe a five minute walk from here, and then over there, where we came out from, it was like some sort of area where they offer a lot of food stores, etc. I think it's part of like the Greenfield district. But this boulevard is very loud as it is a main road. But I don't think you'll be able to hear it from up here unless you're facing this side. Anyway, where is our agent? Is this the East Tower Pole? Okay. okay. That one. The parking is through there. Hello, sir. That's the uh, West Tower and this is the East Tower and this is where I have my view. Hello, Paul. I have a viewing. Yes, sir. I'm meeting an agent. Agent? Yeah. What's the name of the agent, sir? I don't know. Alright. <laughs> East Tower, though? Yes, East Tower. I'm just going to meet them in the lobby. Okay. Okay, for you. Alright. I'm in the lobby and I've run into a number of agents here. So there's one agent here, there's another agent there. So I think I'm going to be able to see more than one unit in today's video. Okay guys, this is what I meant by I think I found a unit that's probably going to make me leave BGC. Just take a look at this. The first thing you'll notice is the floor to ceiling panoramic windows that go right around the unit. Can you see that? They sweep all the way around through the living space and into the bedroom. It's incredible. So you've got a view of Manila Bay all the way around past Greenfield, which is down there and over BGC and possibly even further. Is this, is this Ortigas? No, Ortigas is going to be on the other side. It's in that direction. The furniture is modern. It's simple. It's nice and bright and white. It contrasts the brown wooden floor really well. There's a huge TV mounted here conveniently to watch from the sofa. Look at that. Whew. <laughs> There's some sort of like fabric over the pillows, which makes it really nice and soft and comfortable. And look at the view. I am blown away by this unit. <laughs> this is a vlogger's unit. Huh? What do you think? <laughs> the views from this unit are incredible. And imagine sitting here, pulling out the laptop or, what? Well, there's a computer right here and doing work. Now, this computer doesn't come with the unit, but I can see myself editing videos with a view of an incredible sunset in this unit. <laughs> Guys, what do you think? Huh? Do you think I should get this unit? The asking price for this unit is 50,000 pesos a month, which uh, is quite high for the area of Mandaluyong or Greenfield where it's located but it is a fantastic unit and it's furnished to a really high standard is it not? There isn't really anything I would need to buy if I decide to move in it. It's ready to move in but the only thing is they don't have a washer and dryer which is a must for me. Like if I'm gonna move into a new unit there must be a washer and dryer because it's a lifesaver. Anyway there's so much to cover here. 
but I love the way it's been furnished. So the kitchen is behind the living space. It's a decent sized kitchen. There's a fridge here, a freezer at the bottom. Is that a water machine? I think it is. I'm not sure if it purifies water or not, <coughs> but it's, it's simple and it's elegant. There's a microwave up here. I don't really cook, but this unit might make me want to cook. Oh, a rice maker. Look at that. No, that's an air fryer, not a rice maker. My bad. And then the bedroom is through here and the balcony is out here. Now, the balcony is shaped in a way where it's like almost like a section of a pie. This unit is very circular. And take a look at the view from the balcony. Holy smokes. Is this not a fantastic view? As I mentioned before, BGC is just there. You can see the Grand Hyatt in the distance. There's a plane that just took off from NAIA flying over Ortigas. There's Manila Bay over in the distance. You know, as someone coming from a unit in BGC that doesn't have a balcony, I would greatly, greatly appreciate this. And what's really cool is that these railings are really high. They're above my belly. I don't have any sort of fear of looking over. Usually I'm kind of like afraid of balconies, but all these railings, I don't feel any fear. Anyway, let's go on back in the unit. This is the bedroom. Look, it's so beautiful, right? It's almost like a hotel standard. There's a massive headboard here. The pillows and the bedding seem of really high quality. There's a TV mounted on the wall too. We've got an air conditioning split up unit mounted up there. Once again, beautiful blackout blinds, windows. Oh my God, I'm in love with this unit, right? Although it's 50K, the asking price is 50K. I'm tempted. Now this is the wardrobe here and through here is the bathroom. And the bathroom is of a decent size. It's actually quite big for, uh, for a one bedroom unit. Look at this. Now what's really cool is not only is there a door to the bedroom there, right? But then there's another door through here too that takes you out onto the main door and onto the living space once again. So you can literally run around in circles in this unit. Not like anybody's going to do that, but uh, if you've got a pet, then you can keep them occupied with them running around. Okay, I'm now going to speak to the owner and the agent once again, because they've been patiently waiting outside for us. Okay, so I've met up with a second agent that I bumped into in the lobby, and this is the second unit. Exactly the same style, configuration and layout as the previous unit that we saw, which was really, really nice. And it is furnished, but not to the level that we saw in the previous unit, but it's still pretty good. It seems to have this sort of gray and yellow theme going on with the furniture. I'm not sure if I mentioned in the previous video, but uh, all the air conditioning units are from Mitsubishi and they're Invertotype. And I spoke to the previous landlord and they say, the electricity bill is around about 4K pesos if you don't have it on all the time. There's a four seater dining table here, a big lounge sofa, coffee table there, two seats here there's a tv mounted on the wall from devon too but it's not it's not like the big size that we saw in the previous unit this seems to be like maybe a 30 35 42 i think the other tv was about 60 inch there's also a fridge here and a freezer actually this is the exact one i have in bgc same type looks exactly the same the kitchen looks exactly the same from the previous unit but there is no air fryer there is a microwave there similar balcony but we haven't seen what the view looks like at night from it and this is a couple floors higher than the previous unit so look at this what a view you remember i was telling you about there's currently a greenfield market going down i think that's it there see where the lights are emanating from we might have to go check that out later this unit is furnished but to a basic level um there is no TV mounted on the wall here. Instead, there is a mirror and this is your, and this is the bed. There's a wardrobe alongside on the right here. Your bathroom is through here. And then your shower is tucked in the back. And the asking price for this unit is 40,000 pesos a month, which uh, apparently is negotiable. Okay, welcome to the last and final unit, which is the third unit in the Twin Oak Place. And now this is a loft unit or a mezzanine unit, as I mentioned uh, before. And this is where the bed is located. There's one air conditioning unit up there. And then over here is where the toilet and the shower is. There we are. 
toilet and shower look pretty good. And so does the sink. Opposite here is where the wardrobe is. And then leading you down to the main level or the living space is this staircase tucked on the right, which is pretty wide, wide enough for a tall guy or a big person walking down it. It's not super narrow. And this is the main living space area. Got a couch there, no TV at the moment. It's furnished, it's semi-furnished. It's like almost at a very, very basic level. Um, there's a dining table there with four seats. And there's another bathroom and shower on this floor too. And then there's a washer there. Now this unit reminds me a lot of the loft type units in Bangkok. They look very, very similar in design, but this one is located on the 43rd floor. So the, it's really up high and you've got amazing views over, I think this is facing Manila Bay, if I'm not mistaken, and over Greenfield, that's the MRT line down there. But it doesn't have a balcony. That's the only, that's the only thing this unit doesn't have. And also the furnishing is somewhat to a very basic level as well. But the asking price for this is 45K a month. And the total square meters of this unit, I believe is around about 56, 57 SQM. So it's well below the 1,000 pesos per square meter that they asked for in BGC. And there is some room for negotiation if you really like this unit. But I would say a lot of work needs to be done for this particular unit. There needs to be a thorough clean of this unit because it is a little bit Okay, so I'm done viewing the condos in the Twin Oak place. I'm now gonna try and go to the nearest mall near the condominium, which is apparently the Shangri-La Mall. Apparently it's a seven minute walk from here. Yeah. So you can't go this way? Yeah. You cannot, you gotta go yeah. that direction yeah. and then turn right. Yeah. Oh, I see it there, it's Shangri-La Plaza, yeah? Yes. yeah. Okay, all right, free shout out. Yes. See you, thank you for helping me. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> see you, man, take care. <laughs> Okay, so apparently to get to the Shangri-La Mall, we've got to walk down this road and then cross underneath the bridge. And it's just there. Yeah, it's pretty close. I mean, it's not as close as uh, obviously how Mitsukoshi Mall is for me, where I just step outside, or even Landers being based right underneath my tower. But it's within close proximity. What is going on right now? Oh my god. No idea how I'm supposed to cross. Ah. I wasn't supposed to have crossed here. I was supposed to have like crossed over there. A little tricky. But these uh these metal fences aren't too high, so I should just be able to step over it like this. Not easily done. Is this the entrance to the Shangri-La Mall? It is, you know? Okay. So the condo is over there and the entrance is here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Automatic sweeping doors, this. Na, 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 na. Shangri-La Mall. Ouch. Hello, sir, how do you do? Yeah. Okay, we've arrived to the food court here at the Shangri-La and I'm gonna try and find myself something to eat. As I've yet to eat. Yeah. This will be my first meal of the day. Been very busy today, so I haven't had time to eat. Just got myself a Starbucks and a glazed donut. Hello. Wow, I don't know if food court was so big here at the Shangri-La. But most of it seems to be like franchises like Aspiro, Pepper Lunch, etc. Hmm. That was a KFC. So I would say the condo is in a pretty prime location here in Metro Manila as the Shangri-La is just there, which is on the border of Ortega Center. I believe that building right there is Yes Building um, from, I think, SM, or is it SM Tower? So I believe Mega Mall is very close here too. And just along here, we've got Greenfield District, like some sort of market that we're gonna check out now. There's also the blue MRT line station that stops there. Is that, do you know what station that's called? Shore Station? Shore Boulevard. And how far is, which one is Guadalupe? And Guadalupe is next. Next station? Two uh, stations. Boni, yeah. Boni and then Guadalupe. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you so much, ma'am. Appreciate it. So yeah, convenient. But the only thing is though, it's very, very busy at this time of the day. 
like way more busier than BGC. There's so much traffic along here. And the pavements in this area are a bit hit and miss. And it's not as easy to just cross the road. You've got to walk all the way down to the intersection, turn in there, and then cross the road to get to the other side, as what I did to access the Shangri-La. But here there's some decent pavements, but they quickly fade away. Hello, how do you do? <laughs> Hi, how are you? Wow. People in this area are very friendly to be in the board. Just behind this condo is this kind of like park or field where there's a bar here. There's a very trippy animatronic of Santa Claus. Now I would say this is a very nice area of Greenfield District. There's a lot of franchises and restaurants along here. A lot of people seem to come out here and walk their pets. I wonder if this is supposed to be like food stalls. Hello again. How'd you do? How's it going? Is this supposed to be food stalls? I think it's tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow? Every yeah. weekend or what? Yeah. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Really? It's good. Yeah? Tomorrow I invite you here. Okay, I might come here tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. It's started uh, for, uh, for uh, 6 p.m. already. What's your favorite food store from here? What do you like to eat from here? Here? Sisig? Sisig or pizza or whatever. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Western food. Those are all the food and drinks at the parking. A parking? Yeah, yeah. at the pool park. Oh, there's a Starbucks coffee here. Okay, we gotta get one. Okay folks, while I wait in line to get myself an iced Americana from Starbucks, I think I'm gonna wrap up today's video here. I've done a very brief exploration of the Greenfield District, but to get a better feel, I think I'm gonna to have to come back here on a later date if I'm seriously thinking about moving into that condo unit, because I really wanna get a feel for the area before I commit to that beautiful unit that we saw in today's video, the first one. And I think I might come back here tomorrow because there's a market going down from Friday all the way until Sunday. But folks, if you enjoyed today's condo tour, here at the Twin Oak Place in Greedville District. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like today's video, and share it with friends and family. And I will see you in the next video here on the channel. Many thanks for watching, guys. Take care and bye for now.